What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Order Stuff and for you guys today I'm going to be comparing the low light capabilities of the Sony a7S III with its predecessor, the a7S II, to see if the new version is better in low light and if so, how much? Let's get into it, I'm going to shut up now and roll that intro. <laughs> As always, this is not sponsored content, so if you do enjoy it, please let me know by leaving me a like. Definitely get subscribed, that's the best way to support the channel, and your support means a lot to me. Thank you kindly. On paper, the a7S III has significant advantages when it comes to shooting low light. For one, it shoots in 10-bit, whereas the a7S II only shoots in 8-bit. This is significant because 8-bit footage can display a maximum of 16.7 million colours, whereas 10-bit can render 1.07 billion. This is a massive difference. In fact, it's 64 times more colors, which in theory should lead to less banding and artifacts from the a7S III footage. The a7S III has also gained a backside illuminated sensor, which was something that was on my wish list for the camera. And the idea is it collects a little bit more light and therefore is a little bit better in low light. The a7S III also has much lower native ISOs, like at the moment I'm shooting in S-Log3 and my native ISO is 640, whereas before it was 1600. Plus, although Sony haven't advertised this at all, many sources are saying that the Sony a7S III has dual native ISO, and all of these things added up should make a significant difference. So let's see what happens. Of course, I'm filming all the clips simultaneously with exactly the same picture profiles on both cameras and I'm using the same lens model. So for the first test, I wanted to absolutely starve both sensors from light. So I went out and got some shots and here you can see our subject is just lit with her mobile phone. You probably noticed I fast forwarded all the way from native minimum up to 6400 ISO. And that's just because you could barely see anything during those shots. It really is very dark. At 12,800 you can just about see the sky in both images. But the thing that surprised me straight away was how different the ISO values are between these two cameras. The a7S II actually seems brighter at each ISO level compared to the a7S III. Does that mean the a7S II is better? Nope, just different. The lens I'm using on both cameras is the Canon 24-70 f4IS and I used picture profile off for both modes. For this test I left the cameras in auto white balance because I wanted to see what happened to them in low light. And as you can see there is a massive difference with the a7S II leaning towards a brownie kind of colour and the a7S III much more green and blue and to be fair the a7S III is far far more accurate. Things are looking awful, of course, we're up to the max ISO. And really, no one who owns either of these cameras should ever shoot at this kind of high ISO. The most interesting thing for me with looking at these two maximum ISO shots is looking at the amount of internal noise reduction. And if we zoom in to 300%, we can actually see that there's a lot more internal noise reduction going on with the a7S III. I'd really love it if we had control of this in the menu system. Maybe this is something that Sony could bring in via a firmware update in future. I'd like to just turn the noise reduction from high, maximum, down to medium or even low. A nice thing that Sony have done is they fixed that weird purpley colour when you're at high ISOs. I can confirm, it's gone. In case you're interested, this is what both shots look like with neat video noise reduction applied. Surprise, surprise, still awful. On a side note, the things our partners do for us videographers, eh? I mentioned the dual native ISO, so here it is at 10,000. And then at 12,800, much cleaner. That last example was using a conversion LUT, but if we use a more stylized one, we can get it even cleaner looking. This is with the Triune Films Drive lookup table. Love those clean shadows. And this was shot at 80,000 ISO in S-Log3. I positioned a light facing in the other direction, not even directly at me. Next, I tried a properly lit scene. I'm keeping my aperture constant at F8, and then I'm going to simultaneously raise my shutter speed and my ISO, I'm hoping to see the difference in noise levels whilst we keep our exposure constant. But hang on a sec, the ISO values are different between these two cameras. So whilst I started off with the a7S III at ISO 1600, 
I had to start the A7S II at ISO 1000. I did custom white balances on both cameras and you'll notice the A7S III is much more accurate color wise. The A7S II definitely leans slightly warmer. You'll notice I'm increasing the shutter speed and ISO at the same time to keep the exposure constant. One thing I noticed at relatively low ISOs for the A7S series is that the A7S II lost a lot of dynamic range, particularly on the low end, whereas the A7S III retained a lot more dynamic range. I also noticed from this point that the colors on the A7S II became much less saturated compared to the A7S III. I'm now going to skip ahead to show you what happened at the really high ISOs. Bear in mind I am using lighting so at certain shutter speeds you'll see some weird lines going across the screen. Now up at the high ISOs for both cameras and they're both looking pretty bad, especially when really pushed. You can see the A7S II has got a very soft look, lots of grain, very magenta looking, but the A7S III has these really strange looking green blobs and this to me looks like the internal noise reduction doing its thing. Again, a little bit of noise reduction in camera is okay, but I really would like the option to turn it down or even off. That way, if necessary, I could do my own noise reduction using Neat Video, which is far superior. Next, I want to just give this a little bit of context because this sequence you're watching right now, I shot on a cold, misty and dark evening in Bristol, and it was all shot in S-Log3 and my ISOs varied from around 800 all the way up to around 40,000. And the footage I got out of the camera was just absolutely gorgeous. Confidently, I can say you don't need to worry about low light with the A7S III. You just don't. So let's see what we've learned and draw some conclusions. Firstly, the ISO values are different between the two cameras. This is actually not a massive surprise, but I would argue it's a good thing that the ISO values are rated slightly lower on the A7S III. And here's why. Although it is winter in the UK, so it's a little bit darker, I haven't actually needed to use an ND filter at all when using S-Log3 and filming outdoors in daylight. As we just saw in the sequence I just ran, I really don't think most people will need to go over 80,000 for log or 25,600 for linear cine profiles. Context is so important for this kind of testing. One thing that was really evident was just how much better the colour is on the A7S III. Even at higher ISOs, the colour stayed looking much more accurate and it didn't lose that kind of lovely saturation you get either. It's just testament to how much Sony have improved the colour science on the A7S III and of course the upgrade to 10-bit. Lastly, the only thing that kind of bugged me a bit was the fact that you can't do anything about the internal noise reduction on the A7S III footage. It's definitely worse than what you'll find on the A7S II. If we had control of that, it would make such a huge difference, particularly with the higher ISO shots. I believe a little bit is welcome in body, but I would just love that control. The solution to this, of course, is to get an Atomos Ninja 5 and record RAW, but that's a whole other subject for another day. Anyway, that's it. You can ask me questions about the A7S III in the comment section if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. I'm bad in this hole. This is